Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Pav coming back to you guys with another video. This video is going to be King of the Hill week three, me versus Clef. Uh, this happened on Tuesday. This is Wednesday morning, pumping out that content ASAP. I should have done it yesterday, but you know, I wanted to chill. Um, and this is going to be a commentary by me, me breaking down the game. Um, let me know if you guys want this in the future videos or if you want the preferred way of me just uploading a straight MCS game with the other commentators. I feel like this is going to give very, very nice in-depth analysis that can, you know, make you guys get better at the game. So just make sure you guys let me know in the comments which one you prefer. With that all said and done, let's get straight into the gameplay. I'm not going to spoil anything um, for those who may have not seen it. Just gonna commentate and you know go play by play. So guys, right here I am gonna be running the Carolina bunch offset. And the first play we start off with, we're gonna put Reggie Bush in motion and just you know create a high low right there and block Jimmy Graham so I'm able to roll out. As you see right there, we're able to hit a nice little chunk on the table. I wanna say that was yeah, eight yards. And these King of the Hill tournaments, if you don't know by now, every Tuesday for you know six to seven weeks, um, and if you win, you stay on. If you lose, you're done. You know, the more wins you get, the more money you rack up. Each win, each week is worth more than the previous week. This game was for $6,000, boys. Right here, a little double post action. Uh, Brandon Cooks on the post. He gets bit down with his user. That happens sometimes when you hit R1. They went for the strip. And I've, I, that's something I really don't like. But, you know, that's how I knew my opponent was not really ready for you know the quick hiking or my you know flipping and all that and you know i really should have taken advantage early it's right here another eye close stretch and he was all over he audible the 335 wide and kind of freestyled some defense and you know i have that in the back of my mind at this point in the game so right here he does call a timeout that is huge um i mean first half timeouts don't mean as much as second half timeouts but if you're calling timeout Within two minutes of game, I just knew, man. I had a like, I was thinking, okay, my opponent is not comfortable. Um, you know, I'm doing really nice on offense. Let me keep it up real quick. And once more, we come out in the short side bunch. And this time, instead of flipping, we call hike. And just a great user by Clef. He is known for his user. And I honestly didn't see him. I don't know what it was. Um, there was just a bunch of red all over the field. And that is someone you don't want to throw to is Isaiah Simmons. Plus a combo of Clef's user and Clef is super hyped right here. Also, Clef is going to be running the Carolina bunch offset. So you see right here, Calico in the slot, Bo Jackson out wide. So he is running that 2-1-2 and first play screaming, coming hop with that heat. And that kind of set a tone and trend. I mean, you know, when you throw an awful pick like that, you got to bounce back on defense. As right here, Calico is in motion, going to be running mesh post. And that's a tell for you guys. Oftentimes, at least this year, when they are running, you know, their slot receiver in motion, it's going to be mesh post half the time, probably 75% of the time. Um, people are still kind of, you know, trending towards last year, kind of playing bunch that way. And, uh, you know, wait until, you know, there's some creativity. I hope to, you know, get creative soon. It's so right here. He's going to run stretch right. I close 212 audible down. And Jamal Adams just says, hi, how do you do, J Reggie Bush? Absolute hit stick to his face. Right here, Clef is going to run the PA dig fork. It's a great play if you have hot reads. But Clef just didn't have a hot read, a.k.a. a fast read. And that, that's the defensive, the only defensive MVP of all time. Lawrence Taylor to the Baja. I mean, that pressure was just, there's three people right there. And, uh, you know, QBs really don't fumble like that this year, but I think he was throwing the ball to someone. And, you know, that's what happens this year. He doesn't have Dan Marino with, you know, that nice release and set feet lead. Um, I don't even know, man. Uh, just a very fortunate break for me, and we're, we're up early 7-0. Right here, boys. Clef is going to run flood, and look at Denzel Ward. I mean, I, I, at this point, I knew my defense was on another level. Um, I've never really seen that get jumped. I know I didn't pick it off, but I mean that just creates fear and instills fear in your opponent to the next time he's gonna second guess throwing that. And you know, if that happens, he's gonna throw something else. Maybe a pick, it may be a dot, but the, the unstillness, the unsure, you want your opponent to be unsure all the time. As right here, 
Adelius Thomas racks in his first sack. I mean, the pressure was insane this game. And it's already a third and 15. And right here, once more, he's going to be running double post. And this time, we're, we're going to just send the heat once more. He actually is going to call a timeout here, boys. Excuse me. Here's the thing, boys. Um, That pressure is being sent. You got to make your quick reads. And right here, Jamal Adams, the newest superstar on the Seattle Seahawks cribbing it as you see us say let's go oh man uh to go up 14 early on someone like clef is huge but you know i'm thinking the whole game clef has came back from bigger than this clef is you know bill he's clutch and i've seen him come back i've seen this storyline a bunch of times so this game is far from over I'm right here guys just peep my user jamal adams just made a pick six i don't know if he was tired or not from the last play but he just falls on the ground. Nonetheless, that's not who he was throwing it to. Jimmy Graham is a beast. If you don't have him already, go get him. And boys, I, I watched a little bit of this gameplay already. Um, You know, like I always say, you want to watch your games over and over and over again. And this is actually going to be my first time going through it. So, you know, if you see me actually looking at the screen for too long, it's because I'm visualizing and seeing what I did wrong and seeing what I got to fix on right here marvin harrison in motion and he is getting hollered at but it doesn't matter that's why you have mike vick i was kind of hot when this happened byron jones you know he's a little tall you don't think you know he's not no denzel ward he's not Deion sanders i'm thinking byron jones could go in there and i mean at least tackle him i went for the hit stick trying to get a fumble um but nonetheless i he broke off two tackles two hit sticks and he is on the 37 yard line now and right here Pressure again, Leroy Glover, Niners theme team gets the sack. Excuse me, that said Jamal Adams. I really didn't think it was Jamal Adams. I think Leroy Glover came in there and kind of clogged the lane for him to run. And it's third and 12 now, boys. Excuse me, second and 14, close enough. As once more Calico's in motion, he's running mesh post again. This time we have a match defense and if he waited, that would have been wide open. I, I don't know if I was in because he was in the middle of the field or Simmons is a dog. Um, That's not good defense. You got to cross man it. You got to play something better than that. And thankfully, his player was either tired or something happened and we get a lucky break. And right there, guys, uh, I didn't show it, but we did waste a timeout. He came out in 2-1-2 and was about to audible down. And right there, Adelius Thomas once again on the heat. We are coming hot with the pressure whether it's a three-man shed whether it is the actually blitz the actual blitz nonetheless it's creating a fourth and 14 and i'm telling you clef was moving the ball but he would stall out quite a bit right here boys clef is actually in 2-1-2 bunch but since it's fourth and 14 man i'll let him run the ball and right here we're gonna try to dial up heat and we kind of don't get heat but Namdi Asamoa goes crazy for us. I think that was the third or man coverage. And, you know, that was a huge play. And you see him right here. Like, wow, I'm down 14-0. You see me. I'm not hype at all because I know the job isn't done. I've seen Clef come back, man. Right here, we're going to run the ball, try to get some yards. And that's what we do. We get a solid four yards. I think I want to say I could have bounced that to the right. But, you know, I will definitely test that out in the near future, boys. Right here, boys, running a high-low concept, corner route on the left, drag underneath. I got to throw my drag in that say, case. Vic, unfortunately, does not get roaming Deadeye. And, you know, I still have this little bit, little bit bad habit of, you know, throws on the run from last year. Because I don't know if you boys remember, I was nasty with the throws on the run. Who wasn't? Roll out corner routes for the win. And right here, we're going to run this bench pivot play. And honestly, Clef was really bagging this play all game. And, you know, when I once I saw that, I should have just thrown it out of the playbook. And, man, when I told you, I was very, very upset with Vic not making that throw. My emotions obviously don't show it, but that was such a big play because I have to punt him the ball now. I just got three stops in a row. And my offense really, you know, has no momentum to it because, you know, I'll throw a pick overthrow or just getting bagged and you know that's very frustrating because i feel like you know if i go down there score seven even score three i'm gonna be in a position where it's 
like 99% impossible to lose a game. Shout out to the Falcons for doing that twice. It's right here. We have bottleneck on. And once more, Adelius Thomas going crazy. And I know there's a new Shaq Barrett, guys. And I'm definitely going to try him out. But after watching this game, I don't know if I could leave Adelius Thomas. He was manhandling Phil Lodeholt. And maybe that's the problem. I'm going to get Phil Lodeholt out of there because I have him as well. Right here, we run match. And man, when I tell you, Simmons was about to go crazy. As we could, we could see this slight little replay right here. It's going to show it in about a second. He gets stuck on Adrian Wilson, man. And if he doesn't get stuck, I want to see. I'm not. I, he could have picked that off, man. I've seen him pick off things crazier by himself in the CPU. And that was a mid read shaded up. Three rec shaded up one of the two. And if he picked that, man, I, I would have been. It would just would have been done. It's so right here. Just a great defensive play for the play he ran, resulting in a bag. Right here, boys, he's running the best play you could possibly run. And we bag him, man. Um, if you don't know by now, that bunch, PA dig fork with a little tight end crosser, running back angle, it just, it's a high low, and then you have a deep post on the deep side. And he did have the tight end open for a second, but that's one, one thing this year. All Madden Mutt is not nowhere near all pro mutt. So if you guys really want to compete, you guys have to get in all Madden Mutt and just lab up because the zones are different, the sheds are different. Um, it's just, you gotta make your reads, man. And that's kind of something I'm gonna learn, trust me, boys. Um, I've been playing so much, and I'm just right there to where my offense is clicking. And you know, obviously the defense is on point right now, but we still gotta keep it up. It's right here, Clef is, oh man, this is such a terrible user. I'm watching it back. I'm not giving that up again, boys. My zone on the right matched. And it, it bagged the corner route. All I had to do was either be a spy or run back. And B Doc, I'm telling you, you're out of there. Amazing dot by Clef. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shook because that's a play very few players make. Marvin Harrison on a streak, beating the cover two deep. And that's just a dot, man. That's a laser. Nothing much more than that. Just a laser. And you know, let's just let's we gotta keep it moving. Right here, boys, we're going to hit Jimmy G on this flat and get a nice amount of yards. If you have a flat throwing problem where you just don't see the flats, get in practice one and throw 100 straight flats, and you'll see how, how this game is. You can't deep bomb all game long. You have to throw flats, and that's something I did at Madden 19. I'm telling you, man, once I learn this game, it's going to be wraps. It's right here. Great, great play. I had everyone open. And Calico makes that dope catch for us. He did send the heat. And, you know, I could have sat in that pocket a little bit longer and hit the deep, deep post because it was a cover two. But nonetheless, we will take that Calico. And the drive is moving right now. And look at that stick work. That's phenomenal stick work. Only if number 10, Brandon Cooks, could pick someone up, man. Go rewatch that. Rewind that. Oh, man. Cooks was in position to get. let me get a touchdown maybe. Possibly get to inside the 20. Nonetheless, we will take that. That little stop and go gave us some nice, nice yards. Right here, once more, high low on the left, rolling out, and it is match. And we had nothing. We're going to th throw the ball away. Great defense right here. Right here, boys. We're going to run flood. We have the cover three beater. <clears throat> Only one issue. We're too close. And remember when I told you you got to throw flats? I'm pretty sure I had the flat right there. Oh man, I'm I'm very that was just a blind read, man, and that's our second blind read of the game. And that's very uncharacteristic of me, but that's neither here nor there to preach to y'all. I'm learning from it and I'm just embedding it in my mind. Cause you know, repetition is key. Right here, boys, he's gonna start running a lot more with Reggie Bush, and he could afford to do that now. Being down only one possession, getting the ball at half, I'm pretty sure. He could do that, man. And, I mean, obviously not in this situ situation. I think he's just going to try to run the ball out because he knows the defense in this game mode, the defense I've been playing. He could very easily make a mistake. It's right here. He is going to audible down to the weak close flex or weak flex close, whatever one it is. And this was scary, boys. This was scary because is that stick work? Or, that was stick work a little bit, plus the – combination of my players not tackling and if it wasn't for jamal adams just being there 
I mean, I'm sure Dion maybe would have caught up, but Reggie Bush is a fighter, man. And ah, that was super scary. And you see me right here like, bruh. Just straight bruh moment. <laughs> right here, right here, boys. I told you Clef was going to start running a little bit. And awesome what the Raider great is there to help me out a little bit. And just shoots the gap for me. Right here, flood concept. <clears throat> and I don't know what happens. He did have a wide open player. I want to say wide open, but awesome one was on that out route. And you know, those out routes, flood out route does beat man. Um, he just missed a read. And you know, that's when you miss a read, you get sacked. It's right here. Clef, he is in uh, three wide receivers now. And I am in one, four, six. So this is where I'm trying to get my stop, boys. And this route combo, looking at it, it really wasn't hot at all. And just a terrible user, boys. Terrible, 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 terrible user by me. And I was more caught up in looking at the, um, the you know, the pressure and seeing if I'm going to scream. And this is another habit I have is like, okay, is my pressure going to come in? If it is, then let me just, you know, chill with my user because I don't have to do anything. And right there, thought the pressure was going to come in, but really it wasn't. And uh, it was a good play call. It was a good play call. But, you know, here's the thing. He doesn't have that next time because I'm going to be all over that. Right here, we play coverage, and there's no one to count for Reggie Bush. Great play by him. Um, got to tighten up now. Definitely got to tighten up. And I, this is where I was getting kind of scared. <clears throat> I wouldn't say scared because I'm never scared. I was just thinking, okay, Clef is coming back. Um, my defense, he's starting to pick it up and realize what's going on. Is right here, he max attacks, and we send the heat. So he was doing the right thing. So it was kind of weird. There was a sequence where I would send the heat. He would be max protected. And when I played coverage, he would be sending everyone out. So it was just kind of like a <clears throat> mind game at this point. And right here, he's going to run the ball at a stretch. And he really isn't going to get anything off initial looks. But he is somehow almost able to get out of there. So, you know, all of a sudden, he could hit passes. He could run the ball. And I'm definitely in discomfort right now. He's already at the 36. Right here, boys. A little dive action and I mean I was shook when I started to see my cornerbacks getting pancaked I don't know if it was because I pass commit or whatever the case might be but you know I'm definitely shook right now I try to shoot the gap I feel like I could have but you know I was just a little too slow and my cornerback getting pancaked does not help at all right here man just off play art this looks like a great play and we do hard flat it he has someone open and he got cheated on that. I really don't know if he got cheated or if the pass was accurate. Dion was going to play it. Nonetheless, it was a really crazy play. And if he catches that, gets a rack, that might have been a tud. Um, just I don't really even know what to say. That was a bang, bang play. The pressure was being sent. I don't know if that caused him to overthrow it or whatever the case may be. But nonetheless, he is still able to move the ball. That's right here. He has the angle route. So honestly, boys... That touchdown right there didn't hurt him at all because he is on the four and he could still bang it in. And right here, boys, this is the nitty gritty. It's about to be the fourth quarter. We're inside the red zone, aka the dead zone, aka the money zone. So, you know, if you score, you get in the money. If you don't, then uh, it's the dead zone. So we do run commit right there because I just, I just had a feeling, man. And Jamal Adams, really great in run support. Just actually just blowing up whoever his fullback was at that play and right here we are in over g and we run commit justin smith is a goon he absolute goon um i don't even know he just blew it up for us man really really clutch by him and right here boys he had the out route and once more justin smith coming up clutch and i need to i need to rewind some of these plays after this gameplay commentary and see what was going on because he had the out route, he had maybe the angle route, and we get an instant shed, man. So, you know, definitely got to tighten up the defense a little bit because you're not always going to get instant sheds like that. Right here, boys, we do run a little bit of outside zone, similar to sweep as last year. And right here, we're just going to kill the clock. We were making a little mistake, a couple mistakes of running the ball. Excuse me, a couple mistakes of, you know, throwing picks. So we definitely do not want to do that. And we're going to play super, super cautious this drive. It's right here. Another sweep. And you're going to have to show me you got run D, my guy. It's right here. Running a sweep again. 
and I'm telling you, I went on conservative boys. Um, the sweep was giving him some issues, so definitely look out for that. Once more, boys, we're audibling down to eye close, and I'm telling you, man, I'm just gonna have you have to show me you got run D. It's Bo Jackson right here. The game kind of goes laggy, but we do fall forward. The reach for it feature this year. I, some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I mean, you helped me out right there, but it has gone against me. So, you know, it is what it is. Right here, once more outside zone, and just more yards, man. Second and four here, man. And I'm telling you, a couple first is going to cook this game. And we're going to try to run with Bo, and he does run commit. And honestly, I don't know what that was, who number 55 is. But he made a hell of a play to take my fullback. And right there after seeing that, you know, I should have ran the ball again. We'll just have to see how this plays out. Right here, we decide to mix it up and pass. And he does run match, man. And we have a touchdown, but look at the sheds. Look at the sheds. Oh, man, I have a deep, deep post bomb, and I just can't get it out, boys. And right here for our fourth down play, we run the play. I said I was not going to run. And that play was a bench pivot again. And he ran match for three straight consecutive plays, man. I'm, I should have just seen it coming, and I know in the future what people are going to try to do. Can we hold the lead, man? And this looks like it's going to be a fold, right, guys? He's on the 41. He just needs a couple more yards. And right there, he's falling forward. I ha I'm not going to lie, boys. At this point in the game, I was feeling very, very, you know, anxious. But you see me cracking the water, staying calm, staying composed. We got to get one more stop. Defense is winning us this game so far. It could definitely win finalize and win it. Right here, boys. He does run flood and great, great shed. And we were getting, you know, very timely sheds as the Roy Glover says, I got you, Pop. I'm not going to let Mike Vick scramble because if Mike Vick scrambles, it's going to be a long day. It's right here. Clef, being the great player that he is, recognizing that I'm in 146, he runs the ball. That could have been a lot worse than what it was. And on me right there, I can't give him those yards, man. I cannot give him those free yards. Right here, boys. Run a little match action. We sent our spy prematurely, but thankfully we had some people in the vicinity. I don't know what Simmons was doing, man. And, you know, thankfully, you know, that shook him enough to have him throw the ball away. Right here, boys, it is laggy, but you, all you got to see is that we sent the pressure again. And Leroy Glover, if you don't have him, get him. He's not going to let you run away. Um, I should have started containing spying. Um, but nonetheless, it is a third and nine right now. Time is ticking 29 yards and I lose this game more than likely. We're going to play good defense and peep the bait on Justin Smith. Excuse me, on Brian Dawkins, my user. He looked like he was going to be able to throw that tight end crosser for a second, but I would still bid on that. So if he did throw it, it was going to be a pick or ag. Thankfully, he didn't throw it. Sometimes in that case, you just got to hope they don't throw it. And he was going to have the deep post coming open at the end. He just didn't have enough time for it. And that did look scary rewatching it, but it is what it is. It's right here. We're going to get in the 146. And I'm not going to lie, this was very risky because the play before, when I was in 146, he got those yards super nice and super easy. Um, regardless, we're going to have to send the heat for the game, man. This is the game. 2 1 2 bunch. Clef is going to try to freestyle something. You see him going through it, going through the motions, trying to think of a play. And thankfully for us, Simmons is not blocked. Excuse me. His tight end is not blocked, resulting in tight end side pressure. Game set, match point. Great game to Clef. And you see me. I got away with one, man. I'm not even hyped, man. I, I know what I did wrong. I know that my defense turned up. And I know what we got to do next week. First joke. If you did enjoy this gameplay, man. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, comment what you want to see next. I know I haven't been posting that much YouTube. And trust me, after this whole King of the Hill, it's going to be straight streams and YouTube until Club Series Grind. If you guys did sign up for a club, let me know what club you guys did choose. Man, the Club Series Grind is going to be unreal. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Wish me some luck for next week. We're going to be playing Joke. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Stay smooth. It's your boy, Pop, like always, signing out.